Hello and welcome to another Hungry Heavy Crafts video. I'm Leslie Oman and in today's project I'm featuring some spotlight embossing mixed with some watercolours and also featuring the Monster Mash stamp set by Lawn Fawn. I'm starting off today with a blank white note card and I had this embossing folder on my desk from a previous project and I thought it'd be really fun to create some spotlight embossing and that's when you add some texture to a card but only in a particular area. So to do this I'm creating a circular shim. So I've run my Spellbinders Nestability circle die through my cuddle bug with some um, it's light cardstock and I'm going to stick a couple of these together and that will create a bit more of a sturdy circle that will be the shim to help me emboss only in the area that I want to emboss, which will leave an embossed circle. So let's put the note card into the embossing folder. And then I can position this exactly where I want it to go. And it will emboss only in the area that the shim is in place. So let's stick this to the front of the note card with my washi tape. To run this through the machine, the cuddle bug, I use the A plate, put my project in the middle and then the C plate on top. And you may have to experiment with this because it depends how thick your shim is. But when I open this up, you can see that the embossing is mainly focused in the area that the circle was stuck to the embossing folder. Now the paper did crack a little bit at the top, but that's okay. I'm using my bone folder to smooth that out. And in fact, you won't see it at the end of the project anyway. Now I can move over to water colouring. I'm adding some clean water in, in the area that is embossed. And I'm wetting the paper because I am by no means an expert in water colouring. And I want the paints to do the work for me. So I'm just picking up some reds and orange and yellow colours. And I'm dabbing the paint onto the project. And I love the way that you can see the paint travel along in the water and really blend with all the colors next to one another. It looks really pretty. So I'm dabbing on some yellow now and I am overlapping some of the colors to, to blend them a little more. And I decided that I will actually break outside of the circular area. And I think it gives a more painterly feel to the final project. And in the end, I thought it looked like a bit like a fiery planet, like Mars or something. I quite like the way it gives it an artistic look. It's not perfect and I don't intend it to look perfect. So I didn't quite like the way that it was stark white at the bottom of the card. So I'm going to add some splatters using a paintbrush and an old gift card that I had lying to hand. So now I'm going to set this to the side to dry whilst I prepare the little monsters or the little aliens that are going to go on my card. These little critters are from the Monster Mash stamp set from Lawn Fawn and I've stamped it onto some Nina Solo White cardstock and coloured it in using some Copic markers and now I'm just getting them ready and cutting them out using the coordinating dies. I decided to add some heat using the heat tool to dry off this watercolour coloured panel and it warped quite a bit so I'm going to cut out a using the stitched rectangle die and I'll mount this onto a card and that will get rid of most of the warping. I wanted to bring some of the blue colours that are in the, the little aliens into the card so I'm creating my own note card using this turquoise cardstock and I'll stick this panel on the front. To make sure I get rid of most of the warping I'm using some foam tape and I'm pretty much going to cover the whole panel um, and when I stick this onto the cardstock then you won't notice the, the warping from the card. Now let's stick these little guys on and I'm using some glue dots for this today. He's going to go right here and the little guy next to him. And the glue dots I think are, are easier whenever you have a textured um, surface underneath. 
At the last minute, I decided to add a greeting. I probably should have done this before I I um, stuck the panel onto the card, but um, I did put quite a lot of foam on the back and it stamped absolutely fine. So I was happy with that. Now I'm just going to come in with my glaze gel pens and I'm adding some black spots or splatters on the top of the card and that just brings in and um, makes it coordinate more with the text at the bottom of the card. I also added some white glaze to their eyes and then I'm coming back in once that was dry with the black glaze pen as well. I love the way that the embossing and the watercolour mix together to create lots of really lovely texture on this card. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the project that I'm sharing with you. Please do give it a thumbs up if you like it and I hope to see you again real soon over at Hungry Happy Crafts. Have a lovely day!